Welcome to This Just In, a weekly news show highlighting the people and events in Newport News Public Schools, where the game of basketball allows students to grow and succeed beyond the classroom. <laughs> Security Officer Derek Gary uses the sport of basketball as a tool, a tool that helps build relationships, teach life skills, and enhance self-confidence. As the security officer at both Ivywood and Riverside Elementary Schools, Officer Gary wanted to create a fun experience outside of the classroom to help fourth and fifth grade students feel connected to their schools. So, the first ever Newport News Public Schools Co-Ed Elementary Basketball League was born. Students who showed an interest in participating and who would benefit socially and personally from a positive team experience were invited to try out. To remain on the team, students had to complete their schoolwork on time and have no discipline referrals. This was a wonderful reminder to the young student athletes that the title student comes before athlete. Coaches and educators witnessed the students taking their commitment to the team seriously by making good decisions in the classroom and growing as positive school citizens. With staff and administrators helping to coach, the teams held after-school practices to work on basketball skills, learn to play within a team system, and develop positive sportsmanship traits. For many of the student players, this was their first experience playing on an organized team, so the educators wanted them all to create positive memories. Hydenwood and Riverside played two games against each other, giving both schools a chance to host a game. Both times, the away teams were victorious, with Riverside winning a close game at Hydenwood, and then, two days later, Hydenwood winning a hard-fought match. This allowed students to enjoy the thrill of victory and emotionally cope with the sting of defeat. At both games, families and teachers showed up in mass, creating a spirited environment with standing room only. Riverside even formed the Bear Squad to enthusiastically cheer on their classmates. By creating this experience, Officer Derek Gary gave young student athletes the opportunity to develop life skills that extend far beyond the court as they learn the importance of being connected to a team, a school, and their family through commitment and dedication. Because of the ill-timed effects of the global pandemic, middle school basketball has been canceled the last two years. So this season was a welcome return. After a dramatic regular season, all eight middle schools entered the single elimination tournament bracket. After the dust settled, the girls and boys from Ella Fitzgerald and Hines Middle Schools prepared to face off at Warwick High School to crown the middle school champion. On the girls' court, the top-seeded Ella Fitzgerald Jazz looked to three-peat as citywide champions. But first, they had to win their third game this season against the second-ranked Hines Spartans. In both of their previous regular season games, the Lady Jazz swept Hines, the only losses the Lady Spartans experienced this season. But head coach and instructional assistant, Ricarda Rice, learned a lot from these two losses and prepared her team perfectly for the final game. All season, Coach Rice worked on molding her team into the best defense in the city. This was evident in the championship game, when Hines held the Jazz to only two points in the first quarter, and the Lady Spartans never looked back, earning their first title ever in middle school basketball. After injuries left only seven active players on Hines' roster by the end of the season, the girls leaned heavily on one another, playing and winning as a family. Meanwhile, on the boys' court, everyone was trying to figure out how the Heinz Spartans got here. After winning only one regular season game and earning the lowest ranking in the postseason, the Spartans went on a Cinderella run, upsetting Crittenden's number one ranked squad before defeating the number two Passage Panthers. Before there could be a happy ending, this fairy tale team had to defeat 
the top-seeded Ella Fitzgerald Jazz. In the final game, the Jazz led a low-scoring first quarter, but the determined Spartans pulled the score within one point at halftime. Unfortunately, the magic Heinz found late in the season wore off in the second half of the game, with Ella Fitzgerald guided by head coach Wayne Santos winning their second boys title in 10 years. Congratulations to all the student athletes that made the return to middle school basketball a memorable season. Even when they're competing against each other, the Jenkins Jaguar family just loves being together. For the first time ever, Jenkins Elementary hosted a staff versus student basketball game. Jenkins student ambassadors came up with the idea of a fun-filled game against their teachers. To earn their spot on the roster, students had to be in good standing with their attendance, behavior, and academics. Student cheerleaders also participated based on the same criteria, helping students understand that character and academics always come first. On a Wednesday evening, families, staff, and community partners, including Chief of Police Steve Drew, packed into the gymnasium for an evening of intense basketball action. On the court, the Staffelty had strict orders from their passionate coach and principal, Kelly Stewart, to extend no mercy to the height disadvantaged students. The staff, hoping to keep their teaching jobs, jumped out to a quick lead in the first half, but the students' youthful energy and questionable calls by the Newport News police officers posing as volunteer referees kept the score closer than it should have been. Throughout the game, student cheerleaders kept the crowd pumped up, while student ambassadors offered service with a smile at the concession stand. In the second half, blatant bias from the referees, who make a lot more shots than refs are supposed to, nearly eliminated the staff's lead. But the educators hung on for the win and the chance to teach another day. No matter the final score, the rigors of friendly competition helped form lasting bonds between students and staff, much to the enjoyment of everyone in attendance. <laughs> Newport News Public Schools has partnered with FEV Tutor to provide middle and high school students with personalized online tutoring through engaging instruction in all subjects. Students can access on-demand sessions anytime and any place by opening the FEV Tutor app through their Clever account. Just click on the Request an On-Demand Session tab on the dashboard to get started. Secondary students can also access one-on-one -on -one tutoring with live academic instruction seven days a week. To schedule a tutoring session, select the blue Book a Session button through the FEV Tutor app. Students and parents may also speak directly with an FEV Engagement Specialist to set up a strategic, personalized tutoring plan. <laughs> You're invited to join Newport News Public Schools and Newport News Education Foundation as they host the first ever Golf Classic at the premier Kiln Creek Golf Club and Resort. This fun-filled event includes 18 tournament holes on one of the top golf courses in the Commonwealth, along with an afternoon awards luncheon. Single players and teams of all skill levels are welcome. The Golf Classic supports a number of academic initiatives for Newport News Public Schools, including student scholarships and teacher innovation grants. You can also support these educational experiences by purchasing mulligans or becoming a sponsor. Reserve your playing spot or find out about amazing sponsorship opportunities online. Thanks for joining us for this week's edition of This Just In. And check out more fun and informative videos at NNPSTV.com to see the many great things happening in Newport News Public Schools. Thanks for watching.